did want to see Vanaheim again. It may still hold secrets. Right. Let's go. One more realm tear over there. I'm glad too. Feels good to fix my mistakes. Should we tell Rossbugger? Perhaps.
Salmu Kipa. She knew the tears were closed. And there's no reward for closing them, I'm afraid. We expected none. Well, then I wouldn't advise staying. She is a corpse eater after all. Uh, okay. Yeah. And let's go. Needed an upgrade? Oh, your enemies are gonna be in lots of pieces. I'm always getting new stock. I suppose there's no putting it off any longer. We'd better get to the Temple Bridge and rendezvous with the others now.
I was thinking, why would Gro would tell Odin that an army of giants would defeat him at Ragnarok? Because he believed that prophecy, he spent his life killing the giants off. It can't be what Gro wanted. It's complicated with giants, especially powerful seers like Gro. If she foresaw their deaths, she wouldn't have viewed them as preventable. Perhaps in supplying the justification, she honored their sacrifice and put it to use, enabling the true prophecy of their eventual survival. I see. <gasps> okay, ready when you are. The armies are probably gathered in their home realms, waiting for when we blow Gallarhorn. Guess I was kind of hoping to see some of them here. When all the realm towers open at once, we'll see plenty, lad. Odin won't believe what's coming for him. No. Odin had lifetimes to prepare for this. Whatever grows deception, he heard the truth as tear. Do not underestimate him. Rousing speech, brother. Very inspirational. Valkyries look different. Welcome back. Hildesfini informed me of your success. We've been planning accordingly. Well, what would Ragnarok be without Ragnarok? Who else agreed to join us? I see the Valkyries. Better than that, they are reborn. Corporeal and uncorrupted, thanks to no small amount of Vanir magic. They're shield maidens now. Nice. And your brother? He came through. The elves called a truce to unite against Asgard. That gives us an advantage by air, and with Hell's army for a vanguard. What about Sindri? Will the dwarves fight? We haven't heard from him. But there's time yet. And I think we have what we need to clear a path for the Ragnarok beast. Well, when you say it like that, why worry at all? Sigrun! It's good to see you so... alive. Oh. Yes. I wasn't myself when last we met. I'm glad you're safe. My queen, the shield maidens will be divided among the forces breaching from Alpheim, Helheim, and here in Midgard. We stand ready. Kratos, Atreus, Mimir, please excuse me. Oh. Good night, then. Freya, have you determined our path out of Asgard? If the towers are the way in, we count on them being the way out. And if they are not? Then we all know what we signed up for. Our plan is only missing one thing. A leader. That honor is yours. You have a righteous claim. And the respect of your troops. And you have faced this enemy before. I held his invading army to a stalemate. This is our invasion. A siege on his terrain. I want our most experienced wartime general in the field. I don't care about the honors, I don't care about the prophecies and champions. I just need us to win. Freya. I know what I'm asking. Just... sleep on it? Here we are. Kratos, your tent is to the right, and Atreus, yours is to the left. Mine? A young warrior needs his own space, don't you think? I do. Wow. Thanks. Sleep on what we spoke of. Let me know in the morning what you decide. Excuse me. May I have a moment with Mimir? I don't know what tomorrow brings, but if tonight is our last night, I'd like to spend it feeling something besides hate. Will you tell me one last silly story? There's nothing I'd like more. 
except perhaps a dance. Yet though I may have lost a step. Hmm. Do you respect love? I don't tell silly stories. You only tell silly stories. <laughs> I can never argue with you. Can I sleep here tonight? your mind. I can't. Then I will tell you a story. If I fall asleep, promise you'll finish it tomorrow? He's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from the taste in men, of course. She was. 
A special woman. She wanted to protect people. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home. Does my request upset you? a natural part of life, my love. I wish only to be prepared for when my time comes. Mortals must do such things. I am glad to have you prepare with me. You are quiet. I have nothing to say. Well. Say something. I enjoy hearing your voice. The funeral pyre. I would have chosen different. Oh? You would have me trapped in the ground for eternity. I would have you close to me. How touching. My rotting corpse would bring you such comfort. once tried to take charge of your ending, did you know? That was different. It's circumstance, yes. But not on purpose. Mm. You prepare for a distant future. There is much time ahead of us. I wish to better a future that will exist without me whenever that day comes for you and for our son. <sighs> we will always walk together, Kratos. You will always be a part of me. I will always be a part of you. And when you are gone, that part of me dies as well. See, you feel your absence. <laughs> the culmination of love is grief. And yet we love, despite the inevitable. We open our hearts. When the pyre is spent, and you have gathered my ashes, spread them from the highest peak in all the realms. You will do this for me. is to have loved fully. Open your heart to the world as you have opened it to me and you will find every reason to keep living in it.
What's going on? It is time. I'll meet you outside, Father. Sir. into battle with you one more time, my queen. Me too. But not as your queen. As sisters. Are you ready? Yes. I will be your general. It will be an honor to fight alongside you, general. Aye, brother. I'll be right by your side. So, what are your orders? To the temple. Do you think it wise to go off without stocking up? You may never get a chance again. I'm so sorry that was dark. Hey, General Kratos, I got something you're gonna want before you go to war. Make some magic. Prepare to be very impressed. This is from one of them other lands, huh? Never seen anything like this before, honestly. I don't usually buy stuff from customers, but I'll make an exception for you. Make some magic. What was I thinking? Of course you got your armor all set. Just go win. That's all that matters.
General. Sir? General? General? Sir. Hey, bud. Uh, General. Prophecy did not lead us here, nor will it win this battle. Wars are won by those that are willing to sacrifice everything. If that is the cost of vengeance, so be it. Odin has taken so much from us already. The realms have suffered. Enough! No matter the cost. This ends... today. But going out in a blaze of glory means that Odin burns too? Might as well be. A big, fat smile on my face. For Brock. goes after Niflheim next. They're trying to shut out Ragnarok. You've got to stop those war machines. Not an ideal start. Work to do. You three, Paula, Atreus, Freya, with me. Watch our flanks. To the war machines.
Strike the city with our allies. Sounds desperate. Good. Desperation is our advantage. Would have preferred our realm destroying fire giant, but I suppose desperation is better than nothing. Oh. Careful, brother. You're covered in my frost. <laughs> I would think so. Then we must hurry. Keep moving! Uh, 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 At least the army is already dead! 
Giant Giants made it after all. The snake looks different. He is different. But when I was away, uh, uh, never mind, later. The Ain Heryar's link to Valhalla. My sisters and I must sever it. Go. Still no sign of the dwarves. Sindri won't let us down. We have to trust him. Mm. Rally all you can. We will make for this fall of Hunt Tower. No, I'm late. Where is your army? No more dwarves are dying for this. Save, Save it! Odin forced them to build those war machines. I'm here to tear them down. Before you break them, we must turn them on the floor. Fine. Leave it to the dwarves to clean up after the giants. Careful, brother. You're covered in bifrost. what you wanted I, I didn't want this no close your heart to it close your heart who are they my guardians Odin took them in they shouldn't be here they're not soldiers 
Who didn't put them in our path to die? It's war. Wars are won. By those who are willing to sacrifice... everything. suffering that is your mother's wish and mine as well today sir. today we will be better but what can we do See the size of that thing? I don't think we're gonna win. I mean, if they don't kill us first. Why have you stopped? Ragnarok is here. We finally have Odin right where we... We will stop Odin. But we did not come to sacrifice the innocent. We will breach the wall at Hrimpa's flaw. With what army? Atreus and I will be enough. That's suicide. It may be. But we will die seeking justice. Not vengeance. Can that weapon break open the flaw? Only one way to find out. You three. Get those people to safety wherever you can find it. We will see it done. Fred and I will do what we can to slow Ragnarok. He was not mindless before. See if he will listen to reason. <laughs> Odin will not get away. If he does, so help me. I know. Valky! Ah! No! No! Protect him! I will help those that are trapped and meet you at the wall. Go! Go, Atreus! Sentry! Be careful and stay behind me! You be careful. I'm here to fight. <laughs> Shut up and fight. Be careful and stay behind me! You be careful. I'm here to fight. How come? Look, can I just say? 
Hey. No, you can't. Shut up and fight. Who's for me believing you that we didn't have to be enemies dude you're okay my mom was right about you all along you're a killer just like your father and you're here to kill us all no just odin <laughs> Sindri, no! she's a friend friends don't bring the end of the world to each other's doorstep loki you're right you're right i i, I made some bad decisions you do that a lot. I'm not sure that's a defense. It's not a defense. I just want to make it right. I is Skjolder okay? Have, have you seen him? Why wouldn't he be? What are you talking about? Odin is willing to sacrifice the Midgardians. He put them along the wall to try and deter us, knowing they can't fight. Their deaths are just meant to slow us down. Why would he do that? And how am I supposed to believe you? Because... he's right. It's who Odin is. It's who he's always been. Mom, why are you here? What? He'll sacrifice anyone at a problem with one of him. Then the Guardians. Your friend. Our family, any of us. I'd hoped that your father would stand up to him, but now it... It has to be you. Mom, what are you saying? I never doubted that you would make the finest Valkyrie these realms have ever seen. But not for him. Do you understand? But our family... Without Odin, we can be one again. A real one. What he's doing is wrong. He said if we held our ground, we'd be safe. 
He said we owed him. You don't owe him your death. <laughs> no shit. Dad will never let them get the grandfather. Then go with him. He'll listen to you. Are you ready to go find the rest of your people? Yeah. I love you, Mom. I love you, too. is incomplete. It cannot fulfill its purpose. Oh! 
Great Lodge. That's where we gotta go. I'm allowed to kill you. We do not need to do this. We do. It's what we are. Oh, is that no. it? No. Don't be enough. No. I can take it. Can you? Oh! <laughs> 
Try to hurt her. I would not. Don't you know what I've done? Yes. But what will you do now? Don't change. <laughs> Why isn't he dead? Are you talking? Who told you to do that? You don't talk! You don't think! I think you kill! It's a simple fucking concept! Sif was right about you. I just didn't want to see it. What is this? Are you broken? I am your father. Take the hammer and kill who I tell you to kill! I 
didn't want this. I did not want this. No! Dude, this was all their fault. They've done this to us, to our family. Looks like I gotta do everything around here. You're out, son! You played her! Hard! She's gonna be fine! I saved her! The door! That one's on you! You turned them against me! You turned them all against me! this everything you hoped for? Was your plan really all that much better than mine? I hope you got exactly what you want. <laughs> Not quite yet. <laughs> Think you're the only one who can craft a binding spell? I spent many long winters thinking about what I would say to you as I watched you take your last breath. 
But now, I realize there's only one thing I need you to know. You have no hold on me anymore! And that's my friend. I forgot how good you look with wings. Oh, husband. You always sought knowledge well. Now, I'm going to teach you what it's like to lose everything. Bow to your queen! I always loved you, you know? You've never loved anyone! Real time! Father? Freya? You did it, Loki. No, 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 no more fighting. No, none of that matters now. This is your moment, Loki. Groa tried to hide you from me, but this is your destiny. Champion of the Jotnar. Only he can put on a mask. Only he can gaze into the truth of creation. Unfold the secrets of life and death. No more doubt, no more confusion. You were born for this. Put on the mask. Loki, ask it, ask it the question. This is your choice, son. I trust you. Oh! <laughs> 
our chance, Loki. I could have had my answers. I could have learned the truth. You took that away from me. I could have made things better. We could have made the Nine Realms better. This was never about the realms or me. It was about you. You destroyed everything. My home, my family, my kingdom. You did those things. Your choices. You killed your own son. It wasn't my choice. I had no choice. There's always a choice. You have to stop. You can choose to be better. No, I can't. I have to know what happens next. I will never stop. Why'd you have to say that? Sofna, Afra, Desu, Sofna. Hithan. Sofna. 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 do 
with him. I swore I would never rob from you the choice between life and death. I have waited so long for this moment. And now that I'm here, I don't need this to make me whole. We stopped his madness. That's all that matters. Ragnarok. He's here. is your own. Follow it, and you'll end up right where you're supposed to be. Huh? There he is. Wake up, Atreus. Wake up. Glad you've come back to us. Uh, hi. Where, where is my father? Somewhere here in the Holt. He'll be glad to see you. <clears throat> Thanks, Hare. I should find my father. Mom, stop it. I'm fine. Hush. Throat. Loki! I'm so glad you're both alive. You have no idea. And... I'm sorry. Thor. He was... He tried, you know? I'm sorry, I couldn't do more. Nothing will fix what you're feeling. But I hope there's some comfort in knowing Odin's gone. There absolutely is. Loki... It was an honor to fight alongside a giant. Know that. Will you stay here in Midgard? 
for a bit. Then I've got something I need to find. I'm working with Hildesvini to get the rest of the Asgardians to Vanaheim. To help rebuild. Then I hope it can be a fresh start for them. And you. Oh, and Throod. I hope you find what you're looking for. Good luck. See ya, Loki. Take care. Lugan made it out. Good for him. Ugh, oh, and if you could get this wood over to Brana's tent, she'd really appreciate it. Skilled her? Loki! Hey! Glad to see the head injury didn't make you forget me. Did you have a head injury? Everything was a blur. Maybe that was someone else. Anyway, man, I I'm just... I'm really glad to see you. I'm glad to see you, too. Looks like you're keeping busy. Ah, I'm just happy to help folks. We're on track to have bedrolls for everyone, and your friend's wolves have been helping out with hunting. We should have plenty to feed everyone. No shit. No shit? And hey, thank you for everything. We wouldn't even be here without you and your friends. Yeah, of course. I... I just wish we could have gotten more people out. Loki, you did good. Thanks, Skilder. Take care, okay? Hey. You know me. Has anyone seen any extra blankets lying around? That snow might be melting, but it's still gonna be pretty cold in this place. Better load up on extra tinder in case the fire's still out. Oh, there he is. And one for the kid, too. Here, here. Skull, we wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. And Freya's sacrifice. It's true. Well, we were just swapping our own Freya fables. Right, right. So where was I? Oh. When we met, I was expecting this warrior, this master planner, a born leader. The legend came before the man. But the man himself was very different. He won me over, though. He was just so damn kind. I think it helped that he was handsome. This is true. And incredibly charming. All right, stop. Y'all are going to make me start crying all over again. Sorry. Gotta go find my father. Be safe, you. I'm pleased to see you awake. Freya, it was his choice. I couldn't take that from him. He saved us all. I'll never forget that. The family I thought I had was taken from me piece by piece. But there's comfort in the family I've chosen. Your mother was right, you know. You grew into that bow after all. You are a formidable warrior, but even more than that, you have a good heart. Nothing you've endured has changed that. I'm so proud of the man you've become, Atreus. Thank you. For everything. I should find my father. You should.
Atreus! Oh, you gave us quite a scare there. Glad to see you too, Mimir. Listen, I want to thank you. Oh, what else did you expect from the smartest man alive? It's not just because you're smart. You listened to me, mentored me, and, well, you're basically another dad to me. What? No. I need you to hear it. I appreciate you so much. Huh? I love you too, little brother. See you, Mimir. It's good to see you about, Atreus. You too, Hildes Vini. today, boy. I'm so proud of you. <clears throat> Maybe later, we can find some treats. Okay. My turn. Who's that, huh? Yeah, we know. <laughs> Maybe one of these days I'll surprise you. Oh, you already have. Thank you for saving us. If I decided, it would be better if I wrote the ending myself. You haven't told your father yet, have you? Told him about what? Come on. Giant visions? I already saw it. I get it. Every part of me is telling me this is what I have to do. I... I just... don't know how to say it. Come with me. I've got something I want to show you. Both of you. I... I do not wish to intrude. This is for you, too. Mm. Oh. Atreus, I am glad you are well. I'm glad you are, too. So, what was the end of the story? What? Before Ragnarok, you promised to finish it if I fell asleep. Hmm. When death arrived, he asked why the old man had called for him. Seeing death before him caused the old man to reconsider his request. After a moment, he asked that death help him lift the logs onto his back, so that he may continue on his journey. He wasn't ready to die. He wished to keep living. There's a lot of smoke out there. Hmm. Seems when Asgard fell, pieces of it landed all over the realms. There might still be some Einherjar near them, but that's not what I brought you here to see.
Mother? My shrine in Jotunheim. She destroyed it. She didn't want us to know our fate. We forged our own path because of her. She went against her own people. Our people. To protect you. I don't all open. I'm sorry. Father, I... I need to talk to you about something. There are other giants out there. And I've got to find them. I think I know where to look, but... They're my responsibility. I need to do this alone. I, I don't want to do it alone, but... I need to. It's hard to explain. Does it frighten you? Yeah. That is why you must do it. Like you taught me. Yeah. We survive today because of your choices. Who to trust. Who to call friend. Son, you are ready. Remember our promise. care of everyone.
I appreciate that. And we'll bring all the supplies we can, although it won't be much. Don't worry about it. Anyone who's able can head out for extra supplies. Aesir and Vanir. Together. General, Lady Freya. Vanir. My lady. Shield maidens. Bless Athor. Have you found the traitor Gana yet, dear Freya? Not yet. Soon. One final word. We wish to offer condolences. What for? For your family. Your brother. We didn't mean to pry, sister. Mm -hmm. It was a lifetime ago. Memories in ruins. I'm surprised there was anything left. I just wish you had told me. I would have understood. I... What's done is done, dear Mamir. I appreciate your kind words. Where to first? We could take care of any lingering business in the realms. Or investigate those pieces of Asgard. Either way, we are with you, brother. Lunda also mentioned there's going to be a get-together to honor Brock's memory at Rab's Tavern in Svartalfheim. I'd like to go.
Freya, something is on your mind. What is it? Freya's sword. I'm glad he got it back. Odin stole it? Not quite. It couldn't be stolen. It had to be given freely. Freyr had it forged in his younger days, imbued with its own motives and passion. For centuries, he swore he would only ever set it down in death or upon meeting the love of his life. Both he and the sword were romantics, you see. Shame to have left that behind. What is wrong? But I don't know nothing. It's just, uh, don't know if you've heard, but we're gonna say goodbye to Brock and Svartalfheim. A funeral? Yeah. Remain at Rab's Tavern in Nithervalir. We will be there. Profane alternate lyrics to my ballads. Absolutely disgusting. <laughs> uh, but now I wish I could remember some of them. Oh, the paperwork that man created for me. I had to build a chest just for his violations. A big one. I taught him 20 different ways to cold forge a bolster. <laughs> Once, he taught me a slightly easier method of wire pulling and from that day on called me his apprentice. <laughs> a true asshole he was. Gods, I'm gonna miss him. Hi. Y'all made it. Just about to send him off. I have met many on my travels. You are one of the few I would call friend. I always thought you were one of the dumbest creatures I'd ever met. Didn't expect you to be the bravest, too. This world is a darker place for your leaving it. We're taking him to the Sfared Sands. It's, uh, in the wetlands near the ferry. We'll wait for you there.
little brother. You're covered in Bifrost. That a Kavasia poem. Never heard of this one.
room. I should have changed. Sewn some morning guard. We're not dressed properly. We're fine. The dwarves don't typically require formal wear at funerals. Brock certainly would not. Perhaps. Phil, now you've got me thinking of what I might look like with some jewelry around my neck stump. Maybe some gold woven into my beard. That'd be quite fetching, eh? <laughs> Thanks for trying. There they are, brother. Oh, come on, surely he'll be along. It's his brother. Let's hope so. Loss can do things to a man. You made it. We can begin. Sindri. Brock was...
gets bigger, the more you take away. I don't know if there's anything beyond the light. Afterlives, after afterlives, or whatever you. But if there is, well, I imagine he's causing one crazy ruckus there. I wrote that dirge for him. What's it called? Something profane. He wouldn't have it any other way. Forgive Sindri. He's just. Uh... I mean, you know. Certain you remember nothing of this place. Oh, nothing that would help us. Tell me, brother, why exactly are we doing this? I do not know. Oh, that's comforting. Look, I know you expect more from the smartest man alive, but. Odin always kept me in the dark about this place. Which is why I urged you to seek Freya's guidance. Repeatedly. She does not seem eager to speak with me. Well, quite the opposite, brother. But you tell yourself whatever you need to. I see a shore ahead. Black sand. Exactly as described in the invitation. We finally bloody made it.
Something is happening. Back to basics, then. Well, that felt unsettling, like we plunged into a dream. Doesn't seem anyone's here to welcome us. I don't suppose you'll take that as our cue to turn around and leave? Where are the CL4? Sinum Hautum. To be one's own master. Master thyself. A more poetic way of putting it, but yes. I'll break it in. I expected to encounter here. Curious. <clears throat> Seems it's the way of this place to offer you a choice. You're not going in completely hobbled. the last remaining pocket of Asgard. Something unreal about it, though. At least this part seems peaceful. We should have a look around. You truly believe Freya would have aided us in this? Aided us? Talk sense into you? Win-win either way, really. I certainly can't see how there's any benefit to avoiding us. I am not avoiding her. Brother, you've gone to bloody Valhalla to avoid her. At least be honest with yourself. It is not her I am avoiding. I value Freya. Well, that I believe. And nice to hear you admit, frankly. I think she values you as well, in her way. 
she finds me useful. It is not the same. Is that really what you think? I do not believe she understands what she asks of me. Back outside. You marched into Valhalla without even talking to us first? Nice to see you too, milady. It was a personal matter, and I would not take you from your duties. You breached Valhalla. Consider it worth my time. This entrance is secret. Who told you of this place? Nailed to our door three days ago. Kratos of Sparta, you are hereby invited to a challenge. Face the past, face the future. Master Valhalla, master thyself. And then directions here, no signature. Who else knows of this entrance? Odin and us. It's likely a trap. You're thinking of going back in. Would you join me? Oh, don't let me intrude on your personal matter. Besides, I can't. Unlike the two of you, I've never died. What happens if I return inside? Well, that depends on you. Valhalla draws from the memories of those who enter. In there, you're an open book. Sure, you want to go back in. Hmm. How did you even get past the gate? I forced it open. With his bare hands. <sighs> he forced it open. There's an easier way if you insist on going back in. Come, Seagrin, maybe later we could continue with that one conversation then? For once, Mimir, I think you've said enough. Ah, right then. And the other matter we discussed? You're still... Thinking, I take it? I am. Um... Is that what this is? Guess I'll let you think.
right, General. Let's send you in properly prepared this time. First, Valhalla requires you to perform the Ritual of Selection. My sister speak to you of Valhalla's rules and its values. What do you know of this place? Valhalla seeks to foster wholeness and balance within those who enter. To fully master yourself, you can't rely on only your most familiar tactics. I use the tactics appropriate to the situation. Of course. But varying your approach will demonstrate to Valhalla the full mastery of your abilities. And Valhalla will reward such demonstrations. Be sure to come back and see me as you progress. What have you to say? The challenge of Valhalla is not merely about overcoming obstacles. It's about the way you overcome them. How you demonstrate mastery of your own powers. We can guide you down a path, but Valhalla will be the judge of your progress. Return to me when you've met a goal, and we will observe the effects. Step up to the gate when you're I ready. I am ready. Air, Gunnar, with me. Any cursed feeling this time? No. All is well. Thank you, shield maidens. All right, let's try this whole thing again. <laughs> New choices to make. A fresh start. at odds between you and Sigrun. Did you anger her? I wouldn't say she's angry with me. Irritated, perhaps. Disappointed, certainly. Ah, but you needn't worry yourself, brother. I won't let it distract from 
Whatever it is we're doing here. No piece of Asgard at all. Just something spun from your memory of it. Fascinating. <laughs> Brother, I must admit, Freya's idea does make quite a bit of sense to me. What better god of war could the realms ask for than the general who won Ragnarok? I'm one it trying to save lives. With you on board, our whole peacekeeping council could really do some good. This position, this title, I have held it before. You know what happened. She knows what happened. Of course we do. But why should who you used to be matter more than who you are now? Can't you see how far you have come? However far I have come, I have done it running from that life, that title, that throne. I. I suppose this is about how you remember Jotunheim, eh? I do agree with you about Freya's counsel. It is a noble idea. It should succeed on her merits. How's that, brother? Freya is known to the realms and native to them, respected by all. An experienced leader. Experienced enough to know that a shared power is best for the people. That she would share power proves she is worthy to wield it. Even so, why make her wield it alone? Without Odin, the realms have a chance to forge a new peace. When conflicts do arise and can't be talked through, a god of war ensures those conflicts have rules and enforces them. They need might and judgment and credibility across the realms. Who else would she pick, brother? Seems there's a way at hand to bargain with Valhalla directly. <laughs> 